I'm just sharing my screen. Hello, Ria. Okay, in most image processing, so there is a saying one picture is worth a thousand words. So how many of you have heard this saying, one picture is worth thousand words? Anybody who has heard this saying? Okay, anyways. Uh, so, Okay, last day I had told the definition of the image. So who can tell me the definition of the image today? Image definition. Last day I had written in the class. Image definition. Okay. Those who have not written, please write down once again. Okay. An image may be defined as two dimensional light intensity function. F X Y where X and Y you write down this you will not find this in a, any book because I have uh, got this from research papers Spart Spart spartial coordinate where x and y denote spartial coordinate and the amplitude or value of f at any point and y is called intensity or gray image at that so whatever definition of image so far you have learned, forget it. Now you are an engineering student. So anybody who asks you what is an image, you have to tell this kind of definition. Okay. An image may be defined as two dimensional light intensity function x, x, y, where x and y denote spartial coordinate, coordinates spartial coordinate and the amplitude of the value of f at any point x y is called the intensity or grayscale brightness of the image at that point 
so just imagine a image whatever image you perceive your eyes perceives that is nothing but it is a perception of the light falling any point if you think think properly any image which anything which you see is nothing but all about light falling at that point isn't it that is how your eye processes a image so if you open any book on image processing you will find that uh it is give it has given there is one full two three chap uh, pages dedicated in the in the books how your eye perceives the uh, the a particular uh, image so this is not a biology class so you can read it yourself but uh, that is what i am trying to tell that anything we see that is nothing but all a light playing playing in front of us which is a, which which becomes a reflection in our eye that is a image uh, okay okay here in image processing the main thing which we want to understand in image processing is that how uh, see, see whatever image we see in around us is nothing but as we discussed is is the intensity of light at any point so we can also say that it is nothing but a a kind of signal a kind of analog signal so this just a second someone is trying to join so image processing subject is all about how a image in front of us which is nothing but a analog signal as i told you let me write down it's a analog signal how we convert this analog signal into a digital format that is all about this image processing subject so anybody many people of you have must have used the digital camera so a digital camera what what it does we just use the camera in uh, and just take any any picture and within seconds we have to understand that within seconds what it does is that it any any object it in front of us it will convert it is nothing but a analog signal and it will convert it into digital form within seconds fraction of seconds a digital camera so in image processing all the main sub, main topic which you have to understand in this subject image processing is how mainly how a digital uh digital converter like a digital camera or a our laptop how it converts a analog signal into a digital format so how it does when when we use a digital camera it looks very easy within a fraction of second so we don't understand what goes behind that what is the technology behind that so today we will just get uh, try to understand a glimpse of that technology so let's just see within that fraction of second what happens when we use a digital camera one is that sampling sampling and quantization that is converting an analog signal into digital format we'll just see uh, what is the uh, sampling and quantization is we'll just uh, spend few times in few minutes in that so before that anybody who can tell me what is a sampling and quantization from your sister with whatever you hmm anybody who wants to try i will just take the attendance one second
so anybody nobody is reading the image processing at home any any anything you know about uh, sampling and quantization just just try give it them because many of you have already done the homework i mean assignments you have done so just try once again what is a sampling and quantization Okay, write down. First, write down. Then we'll come to the. We'll try to in the detail explanation of the things we are. Optimization of spatial coordinates. Spatial coordinates and quantization is digitization of. Amplitude. So anybody ask you how do you how a uh, analog signal is converted to digital format? Like whatever uh, images you see in Facebook, Instagram, anything, everything is in digital format. Otherwise, it cannot be displayed in a computer screen. if it is not in a digital format isn't it so anybody ask you that how this is mechanism of convert, converting the a object is done you have to say in one line this sampling and quantization so that is what we are you are going to learn in image processing digitization of amplitude of we are coming to detailed explanation on this Amplitude. First, write write down. Spatial coordinates. See, sampling is nothing but basically measure. Suppose a object in front of you, tree, and you want to take. You are taking a picture of it in a, via a digital camera. So, at any point, if any point of that tree, if you say this point, I am saying, uh, what is the brightness of this point in the tree? if i if i mark it as x and y then what is the brightness that is called sampling what is measure of the brightness of a point which is nothing but which is also can be said as pixels you must have heard the word pixel it is nothing but measure of a brightness of a point in that object okay now how sampling is done we'll just see Okay. See, this is a y coordinate, y axis. We are trying to understand what is a sampling, and this is a x axis. As I told you, a image, a any object in front of I. Uh, in front of us is nothing but a all about how light is playing 
in front of us so it is nothing but a analog signal so this is this consider this as voltage this is the y axis and this is the this is the x axis and consider this as time now let's draw the in in exam also you have to draw this uh, like this so that you can explain what is a sampling and quantization this graph you have to draw now i am uh, drawing it in little is taking time because this is not a this is online version of the word microsoft word see as i told you sampling is nothing but measure of brightness of the object at a particular point in it that is that is all about sampling so basically we are measuring like this we are taking samples of the brightness of the that signal analog signal any object in front of us i is in front of us is nothing but light play so it can be said as analog signal basically what is what this line symbolizes we are measuring the brightness of a point in that signal because we want to digitize it our objective is to convert this signal into digital format so that we can store this in the computer so this is what we have done we are taken the sampling in this graph whatever lines we have drawn it is we are taking the measure of the brightness at that point more this sampling you are doing more the brightness okay that is the that is our uh, that is the concept more the brightness now let's see what is quantization
okay quantization anybody who can say me anybody those who are studying at home okay see i am drawing a rectangle here i am i have marked it as zero the same thing you have to draw in the exam now another box i am drawing here i will mark this as 1 another two three So basically, quantization uh, sampling. What we have done, two steps. I have told you two steps. How we can convert a uh, this one. How a digital camera converts a analog signal into digital image. One is sampling. Second step is quantization. Sampling is we have made along the this x-axis. See along this x-axis, we have done the sampling, sam measure of the brightness. and quantization is nothing but along this y axis along this y axis we are assigning values from 0 to 255 if you remember from your class 9 science studies of uh, uh, studies of image you will see any image that we that our eye can perceive has to be within between 0 and 2555 values okay Between the range 256, 256 values. So any values which our eye can perceive has to be between this zero and 256 range. So from zero to in this particular uh, image, for this, for example, suppose for any for this particular image, we have as, uh, assigned the value zero to four. That is five. This can take five types of colors. Ma mainly this will, this will. Uh, give you a black and white image so this side the zero is re represents black and the four the higher side represents white white values okay so this is this is the brief in sampling and quantization seven plus i will share with you this document okay for color image a color image we if you go back to your class school school level uh, studies science studies you will see color image comes from three bands of colors red green and blue we need for any color image we need this three channels of color colors okay and in this three all three channels will have values from 0 to 255 
okay so this is a brief about uh, sampling and quantization so anybody has any questions anybody has any questions okay then we will stop stop here because uh, uh, sampling and quantization are little little uh, complex topics so i want you to go back today at home and open your books and go through the concepts again sampling and quantization because image processing this is the main topic main topic which you have to understand so go back to your uh, go back to your home and just open the books and just go through this topic then we will continue this again tomorrow again uh, next day we will continue and uh, let me just take the attendance one once again because some new people have joined any questions in uh, whatever we have uh, studied today then please ask because this topic sampling and quantization are very interesting topics okay if no questions then we will end today and we'll meet again next week thank you so much